Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I wanted to talk about stealth on the recon class because a lot of you have been wanting to know my opinion on the suppressor for the bolt action rifles. And really, just to kind of jump on in here today, while the suppressor can be used very situationally and it can really, you can have some amazing moments where you flank your enemy, they have absolutely no idea you're there because you're off the minimap every single time you fire. There isn't a loud boom when you fire the shot, just kind of a, a very low audible sound so there's not a loud audio cue to notify the enemy you're there as well so you can have some pretty awesome moments where you feel like a little assassin taking people off left and right directly behind enemy lines and when those moments happen it's amazing but those moments don't happen very often and it's simply because the suppressor is going to completely change your world if you like the SV-98 you basically use this gun from day one you've been best friends since birth if you slap on the suppressor, it is going to completely change the way that that weapon feels. The suppressor in general is going to reduce your bullet travel speed, and essentially what this means for you is that you're going to have to deal with more, more bullet drop, and the, your bullet's going to take it longer for it to reach its destination. So it's going to completely change the way that you have to approach your favorite weapon. It's not going to function the way that you're used to. And so what I kind of discovered is I needed to play more aggressively. I needed to play that more aggressive recon role, and while I could take people out at a distance, I'm going to be at a disadvantage. If I'm going against a recon that isn't using a suppressor and they're on top of Hilltop and I'm over by the gas station, they are going to have a huge advantage over me. And while sure, if I'm using this attachment for a really long extended period of time, I've nailed it. This is the only attachment I use on the bolt action rifles. I've probably gotten more accustomed to get the bolt drop. But at the same time, having a slower bullet travel speed, having it reach its destination slower is never going to be advantageous to someone who isn't using that attachment. So you're always going to be at a disadvantage in those scenarios. And so what I would do to try to eliminate that disadvantage as much as possible would be to play aggressively because the closer you are to your enemy, the less you're going to have to compensate for that slower travel speed. And it's going to be easier really just to kind of line up your shots. And what I mean by aggressive, I don't mean being Rambo. I know all you guys are quick scope pros, but then why even use a suppressor at that point? You're literally running headlong into your engagements. They already know Know your exact location and you've probably gotten spotted at that point and the suppressor is completely useless what I mean by aggressive is getting to the point where you are flanking the enemy team and you are you are pushing aggressively to the point where you have gotten behind enemy lines and you're able to especially if you uh, if you're playing on rush getting to the point where the enemy team is looking one way because they think all of their enemies are in that direction but you're off to the side and you're just getting headshots here and there and what's cool about those moments is that if you're able to pull it off it's not easy. A lot of maps don't allow you to flank to that to that extent and getting behind enemy lines as a recon can be kind of a challenge, but if you're able to pull it off, you can have these awesome moments where you truly do feel like an assassin. Uh, and so another couple of things that you need to keep in mind is the sniper glint and the kill cam. The kill cam is probably going to be your worst enemy if you get those nice flanks off. You may be able to take out five to six guys without anyone knowing you're there and you may think you're safe because you're staying off the minimap every single time you shoot and there isn't some large audio cue that you're giving the enemy as well. But because of the kill cam, they will eventually get smart and they will find you out. Especially if you go on some awesome kill streaks, and you're, you're just going to become an annoyance and they will eventually try to find you. And so what I would recommend is while it can be very tantalizing to want to stay in that one location because you're having a lot of success, is just try to mix it up a little bit. Fire from one location here, move around just a little bit, just so that you keep your, your enemy guessing and so that they just don't uh, go and try to backstab you. Uh, another thing that you need to keep in mind is the sniper glint. And while in today's video, I was using a high optic scope, I was using the eight times, I wouldn't really recommend it because I think this is kind of a misconception. I don't think a lot of people understand this is that even if you aren't looking down your scope, if the enemy, t if the enemy is looking at you and you're looking at them off in the distance and you're just kind of standing there, you're going to have that sniper glint. You're going to be that nice beacon. And if you're trying to be stealthy, that's not a very good way to go about it. And so what I would recommend is using maybe the 3.4 times scope or you maybe using the red dot side if you're more comfortable with that. And so not only is it going to allow you to probably perform better when you play more aggressively, which is what I recommend earlier, but it's also not going to show a large beacon 
if an enemy is looking in your general location, which is one of the large things that a lot of people complain about when they're playing as a recon. So those are kind of my general tips and also kind of my, my warnings for you guys if you want to use a suppressor on the bolt action rifle and play that more more stealthy role. It's not easy and trust me, it, was, it took me a very long time for me to get used to the slower travel speed. But if you're up for it, you want to try out something different, you want to be a little assassin, then I would give it a go. Uh, but that is about it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and so until tomorrow, have a good one, and take it easy.